The future of one abortion pill is up in the air as a judge in Texas ruled to strip away its FDA approval, but another federal judge ruled the government can't restrict access to the drug. Christian Benavides explains what this all means. Dueling rulings on the abortion pill Mifepristone put the future of medication abortion in limbo. Matthew Kasmerick, a Trump-appointed federal judge in Amarillo, Texas, ruled to invalidate a 23-year-old FDA approval of the pill, issuing a preliminary injunction, siding with anti-abortion rights groups who sued the FDA, arguing the pill was improperly approved and posed a risk to patients, despite its use since the year 2000. So make no mistake, the decision could throw our country into chaos. It'll set a dangerous new precedent and it will put lives in jeopardy. The judge in that case has given the federal government seven days to appeal to a higher court. The White House says the Department of Justice has already filed an appeal and is seeking an immediate stay of the decision. The president and I are going to stand with the women of America and do everything we can. Just an hour after that Texas ruling in a separate case in Washington state, Thomas Rice, an Obama appointed judge, said the government can't restrict access to the drug. Mifepristone is currently available by mail even in states where abortion procedures are illegal. The two rulings set up a potential legal showdown that could wind up before the Supreme Court, which overturned Roe v. Wade last June. The Texas decision is energizing anti-abortion rights groups. We are encouraged that the federal judiciary is finally taking a look at the approval of Mifepristone and really holding the FDA to account. The FDA argued the drug went through a four-year approval process and 99.9% .9 of patients are treated without any adverse reaction. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.